We're not trying to convince anyone that we're right or anything. What we're here to do is just kind of answer the type of questions that we can answer, just as students and as atheists. Um, if a debate happens, all the more to it, but I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be an expert, and I don't think any of the other people here wearing these weird shirts are experts. So, um, what's going to happen is, I'll, I'll let you guys ask a question, if I can answer it immediately, I'll do that. If one of these people also wants to answer the question, I'll let them do that. If I can't, and I think someone else can, I'll pass that off. If no one can answer your question, it's going to have up. So, so, let's go ahead. Who wants to start out? Now, don't make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> what is the definition of atheism? People, I don't know. Um, atheist good. is... Wow. <laughs> Sit down. Unless you want to answer the question. Go ahead, Tristan. By all means, go. Oh, okay. Atheism is a lack of belief in God, or gods, or any higher being, or any higher power, I guess. A higher force and power at all is kind of included in that one. Um, it's not a definite statement that, well, how do I explain that? It's just, it's a lack of belief. It's, it's not necessarily saying, it's not necessarily saying that there definitely is no God. It's just saying that we don't believe in a God. Okay. You're going to be really hard pressed to find an atheist who says, I'm 100% sure that there is no God. You know, that's. I mean, I will find that there's very few people that are that arrogant to know, you know. But um, basically, in the realm of things that are useful, you know, in the world, it's just, it's not likely to us. And so we don't hold that belief. You that, good? Does that answer your question? Good? Good? Yeah, I, I, I need that. <laughs> so, how many of you guys are actually atheists, and how many are agnostics? Um, since it's I think the majority of us are atheists, or some degree of atheism. I'm, I don't know that we have any agnostics, really, that, that come to our meetings or anything like that. Can you explain the difference? The difference? Yeah. Um, to me, the difference is agnostic being a, um, a neither a choice, it's not taking either side. If you're agnostic, you just accept and are willing to accept that you don't know, nor will you ever know, if there is or if there isn't a higher being. Some people uh, choose to define it differently, where they put atheism and uh, theism as what you believe, and agnosticism and Gnosticism is what you think you know. So in that, in that, those definitions. You can be an agnostic atheist, or an agnostic atheist, or an agnostic theist, or an agnostic theist. Uh, sometimes people get a little mucked up in definitions, and you kind of just have to say what you actually believe. Um, just to get a little mucked up in definitions, uh, um, in terms of higher being or not believing in higher being, uh, I assume like you're kind of relegating this to the realm of higher being in the sense of supernatural. Yeah. Yes. Because I mean, <clears throat> immaterial. Right. Mm -hmm. um, actually, uh, for like myself, I'm an atheist, and I would say that that means for me that uh, I don't know. I, I would hold the belief as, of, in God as being about equivalent probability to what a, a pastavarian, uh, that's a person who believes in the flying spaghetti monster being a god. Uh, it's it's not actually saying that they, they think that that's true in reality, but uh, just that that is just as provable as God existing, in which you can't prove that it exists, and you can't prove that it doesn't exist. So it looks, it's an absolutely absurd hypothesis that there's this pasta uh, that created the universe and everything like that, but you can't prove that it's not true, just like you can't prove that God's not true. Okay. So um, agnostic then, I, I believe, is simply just accepting that you will not know and that it doesn't really matter. There are like different levels of it because <laughs> there's like well, you can there are some people who do say that you, that we may eventually figure it out like if human intelligence goes that far that we might know but 
you know, for right now, some people are like, well, I don't know now, what we'll maybe later we might discover some evidence that we can just prove something. But then there are people who I think that we may never reach that level of intelligence that we might just have a cap. Cap. Cap on human? I don't understand what that means. I just think it's kind of funny. <laughs> um, okay, you had a question? Now, what makes you believe that there's no God? What makes me believe? All right, that's a big one. That's a very big question. <laughs> Simple answer would be lack of evidence, lack of reason to believe there. You know, well, for me. You can answer your question. All right, I'll just step over you. Um, mine kind of started with it's pretty much a ground up approach, and I started with trying to figure out what I was. Right, so I had. My mind is pretty much where, where I put that, me being my mind. So from there, I'm like, okay, well, I'm mind and I'm soul. And then I'm, I'm putting it together and I'm figuring out, or looking up into, into the brain, specifically. So the brain and the mind is kind of where I find me. Now, the soul fits in there somehow. But then, when you start mapping the mind and figuring out this section does this, this section controls that, and all that, you're not really leaving a lot of room for, you know, the soul controlling the brain, because the brain controls the brain. So, I'm trying to figure out where that fits in. And once I, I, I take that completely out, because then I just say, well, why do I already assume there's a soul? If, if it doesn't, like I didn't, I didn't come to that, I just assumed it. So if I just assumed that, well, why? Why did I assume it? Just because I lived it forever? Okay, well, now if I can take that out, I don't have a soul, alright? That just kind of builds up from there. And now I'm taking out the things that I assumed were true and replacing it with nothing. And it doesn't seem to be all that different than uh, it was before. Okay. Just what? Um, so. Did you ever thought that how this all the universe got it or anything like that? Yeah, <laughs> all the time, man. <laughs> <laughs> how how do you think that anything can start on its own without any reason? Um, that's one where I got really frustrated about trying to figure out. Really frustrated, and then I just kind of quit. <laughs> the important thing to note is that science does not have all the answers right now. You know, we can't say for sure this is exactly what happened. You know, um, but what I see happening with God is that it's sort of a God of the gaps, if you will, where if we don't know exactly how something happened, then oh, God did it. You know, He kind of gets okay. a free ride through. Um, so I'm not going to claim to know everything. So. I don't. But I don't think, I don't automatically put God as the, the cause for that, just because we don't have a definitive scientific answer at the time. I don't think uh, God really works much better than anything else as a first cause argument either, because then you're just pushing it one step farther back. You're asking who, what created God, or who created God, how did God begin, instead of asking the same questions about the universe instead. Uh, and your answer would probably have to be the same either way. You would probably have to say something like it just all always existed or it always just popped into being. Either way. Um, or some more creative answer. And so the thought you're doing is just digressing, like where did you come from? Your parents, where did your parents come from? Your grandparents. And you could go all the way back in time. And how was the world created? You say God, right? Who created God? Well, then all of a sudden he gets like this, you know, like no explanation needed, you know, just believe it. But, that that's but what don't God you did. think? Don't you think that when you do that, you're already limiting yourself? When you say if there was something before God, if there was something before God, then that probably wouldn't be the God to worship, don't you think? Well, I could just like digress, like, well, who made your God? My God made your God, you know, and then all of a sudden my God's more powerful than yours, and. Basically, he's just, you know... Oh, I wouldn't want to assume they're like vampires. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, all you're doing is digressing, and I'm just stopping one step before God and saying, well, I'm just accepting that, you know, you know, they, things were kind of not necessarily always here, but, you know, that I'm not going to need to question, you know, because it doesn't really make a difference today. Here's one of the nice things. You're done. <laughs> you're just repeating yourself. Here's one of the nice